Specialist Wykander, and this is Broken Arrow Events Visual Training Service. In this film, we will be covering the basics of the PRC-25 Receiver Transmitter. For the operation of the PRC-25 Receiver Transmitter, we will be needing a few items. Firstly, the power supply, the battery, a receiver and speaker handset, a flexible arm antenna extension, also known as a gooseneck, and the flexible antenna itself. First, we are going to need to power the receiver transmitter, PRC-25. To do so, there are two latches on the sides. We will unhook them and remove this bottom plate housing. Then, we shall take our battery out of its packaging. and place it into the housing. Now to reinsert into the PRC-25, making sure the male connector of the unit aligns with the female connector of the battery. Once inserted, Replace the latches and make sure it is tightened down. Next, we shall be connecting the antenna. Take your gooseneck and your flexible antenna and screw them together. Make sure that they are hand tight so they do not come apart while you are on patrol. Once they are together, you then screw the gooseneck into the receiver transmitter. Once again, screwing it in clockwise and then making sure that it is hand tight. So this way, once again, it does not come off during patrols. After the antenna is attached, we will take our five prong connector for our handset and attach it to the audio jack. To do so, you will line it up and then firmly press down and rotate it clockwise to lock it in. To make sure the connection is good, give it a firm pull to make sure that it does not come apart. Now your handset is connected. Now, to turn the system on, there is a switch here on the right-hand side with multiple settings. First is on, where the system is always on and always receiving, regardless if traffic is being sent. The next is squelch, where only transmitted traffic will be received through the handset. After that is retrans, where it works in conjunction with another system where it retransmits your message through their system to a further radio that you are trying to reach. And the final one is light, which turns on a light underneath the frequency numbers so you can see them in the dark. Above the on switch is the volume selection from zero all the way to 10. Adjust it by turning it clockwise or counterclockwise for more or less volume. Next, we have the frequency band that you will be transmitting on. You have two choices, low band between 30 and 52 and high band from 53 to 75 to adjust your frequency, you will turn the knobs clockwise to increase and counterclockwise to decrease. You can then throw this switch to change from low band to high band. Along with that, 
there are locking lugs on the back side of the frequency dials so this way you will not accidentally adjust your frequency mid patrol you will be given the frequencies to use on the PRC25 receiver transmitters before you step off for patrols. This has been Broken Arrow Events Visual Training Service on the PRC25 receiver transmitter.